In this video, I will demonstrate how you can use Archiframe Plank tools to create a roof structure. This structure will include ridge beams, valley rafters, ordinary roof rafters, and some smaller rafters. To create these, we will be using Archiframe's plank features, which include cutting and adjusting plank end tools, the groove tool, the automatic valley rafter tool, and the rafter ending tool. As a starting point, I have here a demo house that contains Archicad structures and most Archiframe structures, except for the roof. To create the roof, I'll first add the ridge beams using the Archiframe Plank tool. So first, I will select an 80 by 300 mm plank type for the ridge beam. Then I will open the roof plan view, where I can see the walls in the floor below as a trace reference. And now I will select the bottom of the plank as the anchor and set this anchor to the correct height. I will also select a layer for the plank. Then I will place the plank so that it spans from one end of the house to the other. And then for the second ridge beam, I will select the height of 6711.6 mm. I'll place the beam so that it spans from the column inside the house to the southern exterior wall. If I open the 3D view, you'll notice that my ridge beams intersect with the wall structure. To fix this, I will first cut the wall studs to the ridge beam using the Adjust Plank Ends tool. So I will select the ridge beam as the operator, and then select the wall studs and press Cut. I also need to groove the planks at the top of the wall around the ridge beam using the Groove tool. So this time, I will select these wall planks as the pieces to be grooved. Then I will select the ridge beam and create the groove. And here you can see the result. Using this same method, I have also cut and grooved the plank surrounding the smaller ridge beam and the other end of this larger ridge beam. Then let's move on to the eye beams, which will span from the ridge beam to the side walls. I will first select the plank type. 300 mm tall I-beams. Then I will select the top edge of the plank as the anchor. Since I want these rafters to have the same angle as the Archicad roof, I will select the bottom of this roof as my drawing plane. However, I also want to leave space for another rafter in between the roof and the I-beam, so I will set the plank to be placed 148 mm below the drawing plane. And then I will place the plank in the floor plan view, extending the beam slightly beyond the ridge beam. Back in the 3D view, I will then use the Adjust Plank Ends tool to cut the plank so that it will rest on top of the wall. So I will start by selecting the wall's top plate as the operator, and then I will cut the I beam to the operator. Then I will do another cut along the wall framing's outer surface, this time by picking the plane of this outer surface in 3D. And now I will return to the plan view, where I can mirror a copy of the side beam along the middle of the ridge beam. The next step is to cut the I-beams so that they fit around the ridge beam. First of all, I want the I-beams ends to meet without intersecting, which can be achieved easily with the Adjust Plank Ends tool. Then I want the I-beams to have a cut around the ridge beam using the Groove tool. So first, I need to select the pieces that will have the grooves, i.e. the I-beams. Then. I will need to determine if I want the grooves to have an oversize in comparison to the ridge beam. 
and then I will select the ridge beam and click do. Now if I zoom in very close to the ridge beam, you can see the small gap in between the ridge beam and the eye beam. This gap is the oversize that we selected. Now I will just use these same tools to add another layer of smaller 42 by 148 mm rafters on top of the eye beams. These support the top layer of the roof. So first, I'll set the top of the eye beams as my drawing plane since I want the bottom of my new rafters to be directly on top of the eye beams. Then I will place the rafter in the roof plan view. and mirror a copy of the rafter to the other side. And adjust the ends of the rafters. And here's the result in 3D. Then I will copy both the eye beams and the top roof rafters so that their spacing is 600 millimeters. And I will repeat this same process of adding, cutting, and copying planks to create a similar set of rafters around a smaller ridge beam on the southern side of the house. Now I am ready to add the valley rafter. Archiframe has a special tool that helps you place the valley rafter correctly. So I will first select two intersecting eye beams. Then in the Add Plank window, I will choose Valley Rafter as the plank type. In the window that opens up, I need to select the material for the rafter. And now, to create the Valley Rafter, I simply need to click OK. Then I just need to use the standard plank tools to cut the Valley Rafter to the wall, and to cut the other roof rafters to the Valley Rafter. And then I will repeat this process for the other side, and also for the top roof rafters. So here is the result after all the valley rafters have been created, and all the other rafters have been cut. And to finish the roof structure, I could just add some mini rafters along each end of the house, again using all the same tools that we've already looked at.